Hey there, football fans. It's time to dive deep into the glorious past of the beautiful game as we revisit the epic rivalry that defined a generation. That's right, we're talking about the Messi versus Ronaldo showdown. But before we get into the nitty gritty, make sure to comment below on who you think deserves the title of the greatest ever. Let's get started. The Messi Ronaldo rivalry is a tale lasting more than 15 years. This shit has gone on forever. I mean, if you thought Grey's Anatomy was the longest form of entertainment, well then, my friend, you could not be more wrong. Try being a fan of either Messi or Ronaldo since the early 2000s, which is where our story begins. These two footballing icons first displayed their extraordinary talents at Manchester United and Barcelona. Fans couldn't help but compare their skills and argue about who was the better player. But first, the real clash between them took place in April 2008 during the UEFA Champions League semifinals at the iconic Camp Nou. This encounter, however, might not be remembered for its entertainment value. It ended in a goalless draw, with Messi even being substituted in the 61st minute. The return leg at Old Trafford saw Manchester United winning 1-0, and after that win, it was only a matter of time before our boy CR7 experienced his first ever Champions League title. It didn't take long for another showdown between Messi and Ronaldo, because just a year later, they faced off in the Champions League once again. This time, it was Messi's Barcelona that emerged victorious. You know, the time Messi scored that iconic header past Edwin van der Sar, all while missing a left shoe. Those were the days, huh? But that doesn't mean we should forget what else happened in 2009. See, after losing the final with Manchester United, Ronaldo realized something. Actually, he realized two things. One, these guys are pretty ass and I'm literally their best player. Two, Real Madrid wants me to join for 94 million, so of course I'm going. And that's why in the summer of 2009, CR7 became Papa Perez's latest Galactico. And boy, this Galactico was about to turn La Liga upside down. Because this move was not only the biggest transfer of all time, it literally set the stage for what would become one of the most epic eras of El Clásico, blessing all the chicas and chicos with only the finest fixture Spain can present. These matches featuring the best two players in the world were nothing short of action-packed. I remember that one quote, when two elephants fight, the grass suffers, and with back and forth, El Clásico clashes at least twice a year. Messi and Ronaldo created the biggest split opinion divide in all of mankind. For the past 17 years, it's been nothing but Messi or Ronaldo. And why wouldn't it be? These elites were battling it out blow for blow. Real one remembers that famous night of October 7th, 2012. I mean, Ronaldo scores, Messi scores, then again Messi scores, Ronaldo scores. It's just pure entertainment whenever these kings cross paths. Even in situations where all thought it was impossible, just like in the UCL group stages, Messi's Barcelona was in the same group as CR7's Juventus. And once again, they faced off in another battle, with Barcelona losing 3-0. When we look at their head-to-head -head meetings, Messi holds the upper hand. He has 16 wins, while Ronaldo has 11, and they've played played to 9 draws. In terms of goals, Messi has 22, while Ronaldo has 21. Messi also boasts 12 assists to Ronaldo's 1. Let's talk about their impressive trophy cabinets. Lionel Messi has been the world's most decorated footballer, with the remarkable 44 titles to his name. He's won a whopping 40 of these at the club level. Messi's most recent trophy came in the form of the League Cup with Inter Miami. On the other side, Cristiano Ronaldo isn't far behind with 36 titles, 33 of which were won at the club level. And when it comes to the international side of things, Cristiano Ronaldo was the first to win an international trophy in 2016, when his team won the European Championship. He scored that iconic brace against Wales in the semi-final. Messi's magical moment on the international stage finally arrived in 2022. I know Messi definitely relishes his international success. In fact, both these goats do. Because when it comes to international goals, Cristiano Ronaldo is the top scorer with 127 goals, while Lionel Messi has 106. But we can't rule out Messi's versatility and playmaking abilities. 
let us know what's your favorite messy moment right there in the comment section. And wait till you hear mine. I'll give you a hint. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Messi versus Ronaldo rivalry is the difference in their playing styles. Messi, often described as a footballing magician, is known for his close ball control, dribbling skills, and mesmerizing runs. His low center of gravity allows him to maneuver through tight spaces. Ronaldo, on the other hand, is a physical powerhouse. His incredible speed, strength, and athleticism set him apart. He's equally good with both feet and is known for his powerful shots. I mean, just look at how he collapsed this ball all the way to next semester. Now that's what I call domination. In fact, throughout their careers, Messi and Ronaldo have dominated records. Messi holds the record for the most goals scored in a calendar year, back when he scored 91 goals in 2012. And we can't forget his ability to score from free kicks too. Ronaldo, on the other hand, is the all-time leading scorer in the UEFA Champions League. This was a story of two footballing icons rising from humble beginnings to become footballing legends. They motivated countless others to chase their dreams. The rivalry wasn't just about individual achievements, it was a battle of two players pushing each other to reach new heights. Young talents everywhere are aiming to replicate the success of Messi and Ronaldo. As their playing careers evolved, Messi and Ronaldo began to embrace their roles as mentors to the next generation of football stars. I've watched all his games. He's an idol for me. He won five Champions Leagues and it would be an honor to be able to stay close to that achievement. Messi used to give us advice on how to be calm during matches. He always told us to be free on the pitch. Messi is the best player I have ever seen. Just so we're all clear, witnessing Messi in a jersey other than Barcelona was too hurtful for fans. And by that, I mean this dude. I'm sorry, cousin Jorge. I know it hurts, but I'm pretty sure it also hurt Juventus fans when Ronaldo left too, making a return to Manchester United in the same year. You know what? My girlfriend reads me a bedtime story about the return of Ronaldo, and it goes something like this. What a number. Now I, I can say, Sue. One question remains eternally relevant. Who is the greatest of all time? Of course, the Messi Glazers will point to his natural talent, playmaking abilities, close ball control, and accolades that make him the superior player. Don't forget his incredible and unmatched dribbling skills too. Ronaldo Glazers will point out to his versatility, ability to adapt to different leagues, incredible work ethic, goal scoring prowess, and his athleticism. I mean, this dude's literally faster than a damn Bugatti. The truth is, there's no definitive answer to this question. And the truth is, give me two go emojis if you agree. And don't forget to subscribe to Footballholics.